Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a cute protective style using some Camille Rose products that I got from the company. As you know, I do get products from them monthly to create reels with on Instagram. This time I got the Camille Rose Coconut Water Detangling Leave-In Treatment and I got the Camille Rose Aloe Whipped Butter Gel. So I'm really excited to try these products out. I've only heard good things about them. So I already washed and deep conditioned my hair and I'm gonna start applying this leave-in treatment in my hair. This product feels really nice. As you can see, it's like really nice and soft and buttery. The consistency reminds me of the Camille Rose Moisture Milk, but a little bit more moisturizing. It's a little bit more wet. I thought it would work similar to the Moisture Milk. I don't know, it just made my hair feel really nice and soft and it was easy to apply the product as well. But I think I preferred this one over the Moisture Milk. My hair is pretty dry at this point, so I do add some more water to get the moisture level that I'm looking for. So yeah, I just applied it all over my hair. As you know, I'm not doing a wash and go this week, so I'm not really concerned about the clumping and the raking. I'm just literally just applying the product and that's it. <laughs> this line, the coconut water line, it does have like a different smell. I don't think everybody will like the smell of this product, but with Camille Rose products, the scent is not strong anyway. So once it's in your hair, it doesn't give off like a, a, a wild, strong scent like most products do. Next, I'm applying the Camille Rose Aloe Whipped Butter Gel. And this is my new favorite Camille Rose product. It is everything I want in a styler. It's thick, it's buttery, it gives hold, it gives shine. And in this video as well, I did one side with an oil and one side without oil. So this side, I am applying my oil mixture and I'm doing an LCO method with this style just because I feel like that's the best way for me to retain moisture when it's in the twists. I also used LCO method with my braid outs and my twist outs as well. I technically only use LOC with my wash and goes. So I just finished applying all of those products and I twist my hair up just to keep all that moisture in until I'm ready to style. And I just follow the steps for the front section of this side of my hair. I think Camille Rose is my favorite brand now. After trying a gazillion amount of products, I really do like Camille Rose as a brand. The ingredients are clean, but cleaner than what you would find in the market. They're black owned, their products smell great, and the company in itself, not just because they're giving me the opportunity to work with them, they just seem like a really nice company and I hope to do some more work with them in the future. So if I do any sponsored videos for Camaro, you know that I'm not lying about their products because you've seen these reviews from not having any sponsored content on my channel. So yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, look how long this gray hair is. Look how long and white it is as well. It's not even grey, it's white. Like what is going on? I'm really thinking about starting to dye my hair because I'm just seeing grey hairs pop up from everywhere. They're even in the front of my hair now. But anyways, let's get back to this tutorial. <laughs> so after I finished applying all the products, as I mentioned to you on the other side, I didn't apply any oil just because I wanted to see how the product worked on its own. So now I'm going to start parting my hair off. I start by doing my normal front parting from ear to ear to do like one third up. And then I start by parting the back part of my head right down the middle. I didn't focus too much on the part at the back. Yeah, I just parted off my hair. <laughs> My hair was drying out a little bit, so it's a bit hard to part my hair. So I just applied more water to make it more manageable. And now I'm doing the parting from the middle parting towards my air. And that's going to be my first twist. So before I start twisting, I apply a little bit more of that aloe whipped butter gel. And then I go ahead and twist. I started off by doing a braid first, just so that it can secure the roots better. And then I continue on to do the twist all the way down. And once I'm done with the twist, I just go ahead and finger coil it to make that cute little curl. So I'm just parting off the next row and I'm going to be doing two twists on that row. So I'm just splitting it in half and then I apply a little bit more of the butter gel, raking it through just so there's no tangles, then start off with a braid and then twist it out. And if there's any excess product that's building up on the top of the twist, I just take that product and rake it down to the ends. 
I haven't done these sort of twists for a long time. They didn't take too long to install. I think the part that took long was the front part of my hair, like doing the flat twist. Just trying to figure out how to do the part-ins and all that jazz. It was just a bit difficult. It was just long. I'm not about this hairstyle life. I literally wash and go, braid out or twist out. That's me. But they want me to do hairstyles, so I'm going to give them hairstyles, you know? Surprisingly, the partings didn't actually look that bad in the back and I did that with no mirror at all. Also, if the ends are too dry, I just go ahead and add a little bit more of that Ella Whipped Butter Gel because you want them to be juicy. You don't want them to be dry. You don't want your twist to look dull and dry. Like, no, they need to be shiny, glossy and juicy. Okay. <laughs> On to the next row. I just do my blind parting like I did before and I'm going to be parting that section off and doing two twists in that section as well but honestly you don't even need to part off the hair you can just literally take sections with your fingers and twist it but no one's really going to be looking at your partings unless it's like braids or passion twists like you want those partings to be on point but this is just a hairstyle that you're just going to be rocking for one week that's it so no one's really going to be looking at your partings and if they do tell them to mind their business <laughs> You know what I mean? Drink some water and mind your business. So yeah, just checking out my hair, seeing how long it is. It's actually quite long, but I feel like it's losing its density a little bit. I don't know whether it's the length that's deceiving me, but I really do feel like I'm gonna do a bigger cut with my next haircut. Something more suitable to wear my wash and goes with as well, just because I wear my wash and goes or my twist outs and my braid outs more often than I do when I straighten my hair. So I feel like I need to accommodate that more than my straight hair. But we'll see. We'll see if the scissor happy Sarah is available when I'm cutting my hair. <laughs> but yes, we're on to the last twist now. So obviously there's one section left for that twist at the top. So yeah, I'm just twisting that. It took me about half an hour to do all the twists in the back. So it didn't take long at all. And just like with any other style where you're parting off your hair into sections, it's better to just part off the hair all at once. So on the other side, that's what I did. I just parted it all off all at once and just twisted one after the other. So that's one side done. Looking nice and juicy and shiny, if I do say so myself. <laughs> and you know, I just got to click my fingers because I don't want the content to be too long. So now we're moving on to the front section of my hair. So I'm starting off by making a middle part section. I don't know why. I think I initially wanted to do something with a middle part and that's why I did it like that. But the only part that's important right there is where my widow's peak is. Instead of going straight through my widow's peak, I go around it, if that makes any sense. You see on the video, you see what I'm talking about. It just looks cuter that way. And the next part I'm doing is right in the corner of my hairline. So I would say it's about half of that section on that side. Part that off and put the hair clip in place so that it doesn't get in my way. And I'm going to be making another part in from that middle line around and up to make like a nice little curve part in. And I'm going to be doing my first flat twist there. So I prefer flat twists because they're so much easier to install than cane rolls. I feel like they're a bit better to manage with wet hair as well and obviously there'll be a better option if you can't cane roll yourself the only thing i would say is that they don't last as long as cane rolls like mine got messy really quick but that's just my hair my hair is really fluffy and it just wants to be frizzy it it's just unruly so once i finish that flat twist i go ahead and pin it back to my head so that it doesn't slip out and then i'm gonna just repeat that same flat twist on the other side but i'm taking my widow's peak with it so nice curved part in, get it perfect, yes. Oh yes, I do apply a little bit more of the butter gel to the twist before I start twisting just so that it can be more shiny. So yeah, I did that one off camera. I think I did it for TikTok. So the next ones I'm doing, it's got like a zigzag part in. I didn't go straight up because it looked funny. So I just did like another slant part in. And I'm just parting off all the other flat twists as well, just so that I can get on with it quicker. And I'm just twisting the sections so that they don't get in the way. So a flat twist is essentially just a twist that is flat. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but it's quite simple. If you just try it in your hair, you'll get it straight away. It's one of those ones. It's an easy, easy hairstyle to do. And I'm not twisting these twists all the way out just because they are so thin. And if I do decide to take the twist down, I don't want it to be like some raggedy, 
you know, I don't want it to be some raggedy twist out. So I finished all of that and I didn't actually come back to the camera to record. So I'm just using the footage that I took on my phone. As you can see, it's all done now. And that top section, I just put it up into a hairband just so that everything's secure and just pinned the ends away. So on the side partings now, I make a diagonal parting coming down from my ear down to my face. And I'm gonna do that twist coming towards my face. I've never actually tried this style out, you know, the twist or the plait coming down towards your face. And I always saw it on other people and wanted to try it for myself. And I must say guys, it looked really, really cute. Not gonna lie. So yeah, I just do the flat twist and then I actually do a braid once I got to the end, just so that it can be secure to my scalp because the twist will fall out if I just left it like that, especially because I'm adding beads at the end as well. I just felt like the twist would fall out and I probably should have done a braid after each one just so that it was more secure. So I'll probably do that next time I do this hairstyle. So I'm doing a flat twist and I apply it all the way out, all the way down to the ends. It's taking forever. <laughs> oh dear look at that stringy ass twist <laughs> needs a trim honestly and for that last section of hair i just part it into two and i do two flat twists going up once the twists are done i go ahead and twist those two twists together just because as i said i don't want no scraggly twists in my hair when i'm ready to take down my hair and i can't style it because it just looks scrawny so i'm just twisting those up and I'm gonna clip it away once I'm done and we're almost finished guys just got the other side to do and then we're done so yeah I didn't actually record the other side so once you're done <laughs> I go ahead and take all those twists and put it up into a hairband I didn't actually take down that hairband that was already in place I just put another hairband over it and I'm just plaiting out the ends of that middle section as well just all in one big twist and I'll go ahead and just wrap those three twists into a little bun, a cute little bun. <laughs> Obviously, once it dries, the bun will get bigger. So yes, back to the camera. I'm just doing my edges now and I'm using this hair grip gel from ORS. So I just go ahead and set those edges by wrapping my scarf around it. And whilst the edges are setting, I go ahead and add the beads to those front twists. And I'm just using this, I don't even know what to call it, this bead thing this white tool here that you can see just to help you put the beads in your hair i don't even remember how we used to do it back in the day but this helps <laughs> so i just go ahead and put that in the two front twists and once my edges are done i go ahead and take off my scarf and reveal all the hard work that i did and guys i'm so in love with this hairstyle i was <laughs> i was so chuffed with myself <laughs> fully gassed fully gassed but yes, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this content. Don't forget to give this video a great big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to my channel for more content from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.